All right, let's get to the battle over affordable housing and how a decades-old law that is allowing some developers to actually move past city regulations. Devin Feely explains. There is a housing crisis in California and near universal agreement that the ultimate solution is more housing. But how much and where are you going to build it and how much say are you going to give local communities? Developers are increasingly using or threatening to use something called the builder's remedy. It gives them expanded powers to green light and to build projects perhaps even over the objection of local communities. This sprawling ranch-style office complex, the former headquarters of Sunset Magazine, may be the next battleground in the peninsula's fight over affordable housing. Nobody seems to want it. Francesca Freeman is talking about plans to redevelop the site, potentially building more than 1,100 apartments, a 150-room hotel, and office space. Traffic here is so bad at certain times of the day that um, to add something that big will make this place even worse, much, much worse, intolerable. But Francesca and her neighbors might not have much say in the matter. The developer has notified the city that he may use the so-called builder's remedy. It's a provision in a 1990 state law that allows developers to bypass local zoning laws if the city doesn't have a state-approved housing plan and the developer commits to making 20% of the project affordable. You can't build something that doesn't meet health and safety and building codes. But as far as zoning compliance or height or subjective standards or any of that, it's all out the door. They literally can build whatever they want. Professor Kelly Snyder says while the law has been on the books for more than three decades, it's rarely been used until now. I'm for it and I'm against it. Mark Schultz lives about a block away from the project across the city line in Palo Alto. He's got questions about the size and scale of what's being proposed, but understands the desire to cut through the red tape. I do understand that there's a housing shortage. And on one hand, I, I do like the idea of being able to bypass a lot of the, you know, regulatory steps. But other neighbors aren't so sure it's the right project or the right location and are trying to figure out what legal weapons they have at their disposal in this new battle over builder's remedy. We were stunned to find out that the, the, it did need city approval so that we have no way of protesting it. Urban planning experts say that builder's remedy has yet to be challenged in the court. They say there's almost certainly going to be legal challenges ahead that will ultimately define the power the parameters and the success of this method of getting housing built.